Hi everyone, Keyless Sentry here. Today I'm doing a Stock Lock Sunday video. Uh, here I've got this Packlock 90A Pro, which is pretty much the same, well it's got the same core as this uh, Packlock PL410 Pro. Uh, I picked this one probably almost a year ago on my channel. Um, this one's a Lotto Lock, as you can see, key retaining. And this one here, a very nice satisfying pop on the shackle and is also key retaining um, this one can be gutted and repinned so that's really really cool um, they both share the 200k keyway so you can see this one's a little bit offset because it kicks on the it's on a bit of an angle so it's a very very nice keyway um, it's pretty open not very or overly restrictive um, so let's get into the vise and uh, try to give it a pick. Yeah, I really like the uh, pack lock blue. It's really, really nice. Really like the look of these. Really nice locks. Okay. All right, just see a minute, Tad. There we go. So I'll be using uh, top of the keyway tension with a Sparrows Z bar. Because um, when you try to put a normal, a normal top of the keyway tension in there, it tends to slip out because of that little curve in the top of the keyway there. So I find I can get this in there, get this in there pretty snug like that and get some good tension on it. Just got to make sure I don't get too close to pin one. Alright, and I'll be using a law lock um, lockout buster. Alright. Here we go, okay. So I'll be starting from pin seven, from down the back. Right, which is binding, and I'm using pretty light tension. Just make sure there it is, pin seven. The cord does move around a little bit in this one, back and forth, up and down, left and right. Which does add to the picking difficulty a little bit. Like there, just hope. Just pick the wrong pin. So, uh, right, seven there. There we go. Set seven. Okay, I can feel six in front of it. There we go. Seven, six. Five. Got some nice clicks out of five. Serrated pin. Okay, four. Get a little bit of tiny bit of counter rotation out of it. Okay, I think it's set. Check the back pins. All right. So we've got happening down the front. Two. Okay, just nudged three and got a bit of movement. Hmm. One. Okay, got a counter from one. Oh, in a deep set now. Not open. No. Nope. I'm stuck on a spool somewhere. One. Two. Three. Uh, four. I think it's four. There we go. Oh, doesn't like to give counter rotation. Oh, got four. I think I dropped a few pins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, interesting. Something drop then. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hmm, interesting. I've got one blinding again. And we have an. Oh, let's turn it with a pick, shall we? And we got it open. Alrighty. 
So this does give some funny old feedback, I'll tell you that. Uh, can be a challenging pick sometimes. The first time I picked it in about two minutes flat and then uh, second, third time took me about 10, 15 minutes each. So <laughs> cool, cool locks. All right, let's gut this one out. All right, so it's got an Allen key. Ooh, Allen key hasn't got Allen key. It's got an Allen, Allen screw down the bottom there. So I use a Torx 15. I think the Imperial size is a 7 64ths, but don't quote me on that. But the Torx 15 fits in there really, really snug. Okay, okay, it's a nice blue Loctite, pack lock blue. Right, so just gonna spill the guts here. There we go. It's got a big old um so it looks like the actuator is actually greasy. Um <laughs> looks like the actuator is uh, part of the actual plug. So the ball bearings would sit on either side. Interesting. Wonder if that's the same in same case in these. Um, wonder if these are interchangeable. Don't really want to destroy one, but if anyone knows, please drop a comment. All right. Okay. So C clip. I don't know how I'm going to gut this now because of that large actuator being attached or being part of the actual plug. Um, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's use the thin shim and um, I think what I'll do is leave the shim hanging out so it clears all this. Actually I might turn it a bit less like that and I think we should be okay. And we are okay, that's good. Whew. <laughs> All right, so we've got um, six pins there. Looks like pin one sits really, really low in there. Maybe the keys dropped a bit. Perhaps, yeah, but it looks like it sits real low anyway. Interesting, okay. All right, let's get these pins out. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Nothing special about the plug. Um, it's like it's chamfered like a little bit on the top of the chambers, ever so slightly. Um, okay, no serrations on the key pins, all standards. Uh, yeah, yeah. That one's upside down. Ones this way, they've got very, got very rounded bottoms on them. They're not pointy at all. They're very, very rounded, like a s s very spherical um, bottoms on them. Okay, so that's the front. Let's see what we have inside here. So we've got a serrated. A spool. Other serrated, so I think it's gonna be that sort of pattern. There should be a standard in there somewhere, which I predict on seven. Because I have seen one of these taken apart. I presume they're all pinned up the same. Yep. It looks like all the springs are the same too, because there was a little bit of a discussion I remember a while back. Um, that the springs were different on the serrateds and the spools, but in this, it looks like they're all the same. All right, we'll just get something to put this pinning tray on to give you guys a better view of these pins. Just uh, one second. Might up if I center it. Okay. Sorry about that. 
iPad's playing up a little bit. All right, not sure how the exposure is on these, but I'll do my best. As you can see, we got a um, so that's sort of serrated. It's got two serrations, doesn't go all the way up, so about up to um, two thirds of the pin. And these are the spools. As you can see they're quite shallow spools, but they've got quite long ends. And all the all the serrated pins and spools are the same. As you can see there, and then we've got a standard in number seven, all the same springs. Alrighty, that's it for me. That was the Packlock 90A Pro for Stocklock Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.